Hey everybody, Jolt here from The Token Minorities. Welcome to our first annual The Token Minorities Summer Showdown. Our second Pokemon tournament to host on YouTube, and our second of many we plan to host in the future. For all of our new viewers, we are an 8-member Pokemon YouTube channel driven by Pokemon tournaments. However, we also post all kinds of other Pokemon and video game content as well, such as Pokemon battles, Pokemon card openings, and other various video game playthroughs. Special thanks to all of you who subscribed. If you haven't subscribed already for this tournament, definitely subscribe so that you know where you stand in the brackets and you know how much time you have available to finish your matches. We had 128 people sign up for this tournament. Unbelievable, guys. Thank you so much for your interest in this tournament, and we'll do the best we can to make this tournament run as smoothly as possible and give you a fantastic kickoff to your summer. Before we reveal the brackets, looks like Styx is here to explain the rules of the tournament. Take it away, Styx! Thank you, Ginger. Uh, I'm, I mean, I mean, Joel. Uh, yeah, guys, sorry if my voice sounds weird. I've been dealing with allergies a lot. But, um, unfortunately for Jolts, uh, the rules of the tournament is, uh, my part in this uh, little kickoff video. And, uh, really I just need to explain the standard U OU, UU, and RU rules. Uh, basically, all the clauses, uh, there's like the evasion clause, the moody clause, different clauses for different tiers. If you need to look up any of them specifically, just go on Smogon, look at all that stuff, and I'm sure you can find it. But all those clauses will be in effect. Sleep clause is one that I feel a particular need to explain, because only one Pokemon on your opponent's team can be put to sleep at a time by a move that your Pokemon uses. So like your Breloom can't just spore everything, unfortunately for me. But however, it your opponent can have multiple Pokemon asleep on his team at the same time if it's like their own sleep inducing move. Like if you use Spore on one of their pokes and then one of their other pokes use Rest, then they have two Pokemon asleep on their team, but you did not break Sleep Clause. I mean, it's, it's a lot more in depth than that, but just kind of something that you should be familiar with and look up. Basically, don't spam sleep. I mean, it just makes it easier for everybody and it makes it more fun of a game. And in each round, it is best two of three. There will be three matches, and it says on my script to explain thoroughly, so I'm going to explain thoroughly. There are three matches. OU, UU, RU. All right, so three, one, two, three. And you will battle in each of those tiers. Well, not necessarily, but I'll explain that in a little bit. But basically, okay, so have an OU battle, say your opponent wins. Have a UU battle, say your opponent wins. You do not need to have the third RU battle because you already won the best of three. However, if you won the first one, your opponent won the second one, that means that a third match is necessary in order to determine the best of three. I'm pretty sure you guys can figure out best of three. I mean, it's not that hard of a concept. But the uh, matches do not have to be in any particular order. That means you can go like RU, OU, UU, or UU, OU, RU, or any order, as long as best of three happens, all right? And yeah, basically the person that wins two matches first will be advancing. And all these matches will take place on Showdown, which should make the whole clause issue a little bit easier. Uh, not really a big deal. Actually, it is a huge deal. But Showdown should have implemented all the clauses. Like if you just play a little bit, you will see at the beginning of the battle, if you go on like the ladder, there will be a list of clauses. I believe we are following all of the ladder clauses. Uh, Jolt can feel free to correct me if he's wrong. Oh, if I'm wrong. And, uh, oh, and as for your teams, feel free to change it throughout the tournament. It's not a big deal if you change it. However, team scouting is strictly prohibited, and if it is caught, you will be disqualified. That means if your team is so dramatically different from an earlier round to where it specifically counters your opponent's team, then yeah, we're gonna have a problem. Just a little one. Actually, we're gonna have a really big problem because you will be gone, all right? And we will do our best to moderate all of that team scouting shenanigans. But yeah, uh, basically, don't team scout. Just make the best team you can and go from there. Uh, and I guess, yeah, that's all I have for the rules of the tournament. And now I guess I have to go to Bacon. It says I have to go to Bluesy, but I really don't think he has anything of value to tell us. So yeah, here's Bacon. 
You were expecting bacon, were you? Because Sticks told you bacon was next? <laughs> You're wrong. <clears throat> I'm Bluesy, as you know, and uh, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the timeline and logistics of this showdown tournament. As you know, we will allow about five days for each round of the bracket to complete, uh, but this is flexible, so if you need an extension, please just let us know. Send us a message on showdown on YouTube or something, and we can make arrangements for whatever scheduling conflicts you guys have. Please play ahead if your next opponent is ready. We encourage you to do so. So if you know that you're done and your next opponent is done, please just contact them and get your next battle out of the way so that we can go as quickly as possible. In the chat of the battle, be sure to state that this battle is for the Summer Showdown Tournament. This is necessary to prevent several potential difficulties. Please, just do it. Just right, right at the start of the battle, just be like... Showdown Summer Tournament for for the token minorities. I think that'll that'll clear up any difficulties so that when we go back and look at the video we can just see, okay, this is this is the legit match that they did. Make sure to save the link to your battle video if you just do the save replay button at the bottom of the showdown link, that should take care of it. And um, that'll that'll make sure that we can go back and look at your video and make sure it's legit. Uh, Vic will have more info on what to do with the save video in a little bit, but first here is Bacon slash Flint with the reveal of the bracket. Flint? Thank you, Bluesy. And now it's the bracket. Should be right here. Little annotation right in this general area. All right. In this bracket, our participants are going to be grouped by their region using the time, time zone data that was submitted when you signed up. And there should be no con problems with time conflict because the different regions will meet later in the bracket. So get your matches done within five days each round. Now on the bracket, each name will follow this format. It'll be region, showdown username, and then YouTube username. And if only one name is there, it's the same username for both accounts. Now as Stick said before, victory with two out of the three formats is required to advance each round in the bracket. Now this is very important guys, so pay attention here especially. We plan to live stream the battles of those who advance to the top eight. So make sure not to advance beyond the top eight until you get the okay from us. And we will be live streaming through Twitch and we will be using Google Hangouts for all of the final eight battlers to chat with us and each other during those final rounds. Now here's Vic with some information on how to report your results to us and communicate with your opponents. Hello everyone, Vic here, and I am here to explain the logistics of communication and getting your results, reporting them to us for this wonderful tournament that you are now a part of. Okay, so the first thing is that all results need a private message to us, the token minorities. To do that, you're going to go to our lovely channel page, as you can see here, which you can use to find all of our lovely content from the past year and a half. Um, we have got everything we got, playthroughs, battles, top tens, more stuff. There's a lot of stuff on here. So what you're going to do, to private message, you're going to go to About where you can see all of our lovely goals that you guys have so graciously helped us reach. Thank you guys so much, it means everything to us. I'm going to go down here to Send Message. You're going to send a message to the token minorities, and you're just going to say, This is my message. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to say, Who is it? Who is in the match? So there's going to be two names. You're going to say who won and who lost, and you're going to provide the, uh, the battle uh, URL. To get the battle URL, then you hit Send. To get the battle URL, what you're going to do is you are going to press the... Uh, uh, after after the match is done, there's going to be two little buttons underneath the battle window. One of them which is going to say uh, replay. You're going to click that, hit share replay, and it will provide you with a URL, a web address. You're going to copy that, and then paste it into that message and send it to us. That will give you access to the instant replay for those of you who have never done that before. For those of you who have, it also lets you relive either your glory or your shame. Go figure. Um, another way to communicate uh, other than that is going to be to uh, follow exactly this video. Go to our channel and search communicate just like this, and it will lead you to this first video up here, which is how to communicate with your opponents. It was applicable for our March Madness tournament, it's, a, it's applicable for this one. Previously we've used chatty chat rooms and we've used uh, individual pool rooms, as you can see all of here. We don't, oops, don't think we're going to do that this time, uh, so what you're going to do is follow the instructions in that video, it's all there, I'm not going to try and explain it. The big thing is if you want to send a tagged message to someone, you do plus sign their username, all is one word and then uh, you type your message and it will alert them in the updates bar up here. Um, other than that, if you need to, the big thing is going to be be active, be active, be active, be in showdown as much as possible. 
uh, talk in the chat, um, make sure to know who your opponent is, and reach out to them. Um, we'll try and arrange things as much as possible so that you'll be with people in your time zone to begin with to make things easier at the beginning. Um, but the big thing is just going to be, be very active. Don't be annoying, but make sure that you are present as much as possible, and if there are times when you will be on, leave a comment in the most in the most up-to-date video. Make sure that you're doing things in the most up-to-date video, otherwise people are going to be backlogging and it's going to get confusing. Okay. Um, yeah, be online frequently. Be professional. Uh, a big thing that we have that everyone has trouble with on Showdown is that there are always those people who are not so pleasant. Uh, not super polite. Please, we're doing this for the love of the game and for the love of the, and for the love of Pokemon. Please, um, be professional, be courteous, Feel free to make jokes and have fun, because that's why we're here, but if you can keep the vulgarity to a minimum, you don't know how old the person on the receiving end could be. I don't care how vulgar those kids on Xbox Live are, you are better than that. I believe in you. Um, and finally, if you have any issues, please feel free to contact us, either do the private messaging, leave a comment in the videos, find us on Showdown, um, there'll be a full rundown of our names in the, uh, in the description of this video. Um, if your opponent is inactive, contact us, let us know that you are at least trying. If you, both of you are in contact with us and just can't get together, we will give you time and we will try and mediate that as best as possible. And if not, um, and if it ultimately comes down to it, we may, if we have to flip a coin, we will. But if one of you is active and the other one isn't, the active one will move forward. So be in contact with us. We do take that into account if you can't get the match done, but please try and get the match done. I think that is everything. Uh, yeah, private message, uh, private message is all your results. I showed you how to get the results. Use this video up here as much as you need. If you have any questions, send us a private message or leave a tagged uh, comment, as you can see I do in that video, in the comments below. Uh, be professional. Keep in touch. Good luck. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Wow, Buffett! Thank you.